Psalm 65 verses 5 and 6 says, A father of the fatherless and a judge for the widows is God in his holy habitation. God makes a home for the lonely. He leads out the prisoners into prosperity. Only the rebellious dwell on a parched land. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this six-month reading plan through the book of Psalms, today's reading is Psalm 68, the title, verses through verse 15, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, today there's a great cry for helping those who are in need. Everywhere you go, you hear about the needs of the homeless and the psychological needs of the lonely. And there's a great amount of consternation that these needs are not being met. The, the problem is they would be met if we were following the biblical injunctions for the standards of our lives. There's not enough money in the world to be able to adequately feed or take care of those who are in need. Almost 20 years ago, I had to go to Sao Paulo for own business. In communicating with the businessman whom I was going to meet when I got there, I was told only to use certain taxis and to trust no one until I got to the hotel. On the way out there, I saw poverty in a way that I'd never seen before, and in some ways I wondered why God would allow this to occur. Well, in, in many ways, it's like the fault of those who are in the charge of religion. They boost themselves and their possessions while leaving the poor and the destitute to fend for themselves. But it's not only their fault. General people in the congregation are also at fault. In Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20, we're told that we have one mission on earth, and that is to go and make disciples. The church has been in Brazil since the beginning, and yet those people who are most in need are not being discipled by the church. They're being exploited by it. Liberation theology has taken over the country and in place of biblical theology. So how can the psalmist say that God is a father of the fatherless and the judge for widows when there are so many fatherless and so many widows? Millions of people are lonely, and it seems as if no prisoners are being led into prosperity. The answer is in the last line of verse 6. Only the rebellious dwell in a parched land. Those who are rebelling against God in their lives are the ones who are lonely. It doesn't matter whether someone has material wealth. Without a relationship to God through Christ, we are rebellious, and we will live in a parched land. Romans chapter 1 argues that everyone has the capability of knowing God. Everyone has the capability of having a relationship that will bring them out of poverty, spiritual poverty, and place them in a situation of great spiritual wealth. It is when we know God through Christ that we have the ability to no longer thirst. But we have to make that choice, and in making it, it will also cause us to help others to make the same choice. And if you would like a PDF copy of this entire reading plan, please send an email to PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.